from WDTN, the station on your side. This is 2 News. Hello, I'm Kelly King with today's WDTN.com webcast. We now know the name of a man who police say is responsible for hitting and killing a Springfield girl. Springfield police say 30-year-old Joseph Lewis Thompson Sr. struck and killed the little girl while she was walking home with her friend on Murray Street near Chestnut Avenue. Police say he was speeding away from them at the time. They stressed that the officer did not chase him, rather followed in his direction. Friends identify the victim as 12-year-old Kayla Mongold. We was walking around the corner and I seen a car speeding and then I ran into the weeds and when I came out, my friend was gone and I couldn't find her. Thompson is currently behind bars in the Clark County Jail facing charges of aggravated vehicular homicide. He was in court this morning. Right now, Dayton police are searching for suspects who they say opened fire on an SUV causing it to crash. The accident took place on Frederick Pike at Brantford last night. Investigators say it was the result of a chase that started at an apartment complex on Needmore Road. The victims were trying desperately to get away. At least one bullet hit the victim's Red Ford Explorer. They start shooting at us when we left from my sister's apartment. <laughs> Investigators say they still don't know why the suspect was following the victims, but believe they're all acquaintances. Police say they are looking for two female suspects, and if you can help, call Crime Stoppers. That number 222-7867. And some dry fields in Butler Township fueled flames along Interstate 70 Sunday. Traffic was backed up for miles from Airport Access Road for about an hour. The brush fire stretched over a half-mile area. A cause is still under investigation. Crews were able to contain the fire before any homes were at risk. And the City Folk Festival kicks off at the end of the week, but the downtown Dayton event needs help. Organizers need 1,000 volunteers to help them set up the stage and guide the crowds. City Folk begins this Friday, June 29th, and fireworks will be Sunday, July 1st at 10 p.m. WDTN is a proud sponsor of the festival. And if you want to read more about this story or any of the day's top headlines, it's all right here for you on WDTN.com. Log on anytime, day or night, for the latest news, weather, and traffic. Again, I'm Kelly King. Thanks for logging on and watching.